Nicole Krauss is best known for her second novel, The History of Love, and that's one of my all-time favourite books. It's one of the most beautiful I've ever read. So perhaps my expectations were a bit too high when I came to read her latest novel, which is called Great House. It's rather complex to explain exactly what it's about, but basically it revolves around this antique desk and the people that own it over the various generations and across the continents. It's told as separate narrative threads, so each character seems totally unrelated to the other and it's actually up to the reader to put it all together as a single story. I read one reviewer who had said the desk is a symbol of Jewish survival and loss and recovery and I thought that was a really good way of putting it because that's essentially what the book is actually about. And it's, it's beautiful in the way it's written. It's got that Nicole Prowse style where every sentence is just perfect in the way it's structured. But it's a wee bit clever or complex, at least for me it was, because by the end of it I still felt a wee bit puzzled.